Hello, I'm the Budget Model and this is episode 24 of my King Tiger and Berg Panzer diorama build. If you're watching this and please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. To begin this episode, I'm going to be painting the rest of the radio set. So let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. That's the radio set painted, we'll just pop that over there and allow it to dry. Now to move on to finishing off the parts that go into the lower hull, which you'll be glad to know is nearly finished, so let's crack on with that. Everything at the moment is going swimmingly, but this part here needed a little bit of fettling, so we fettled and got it fitted. There we go, that's all the fitting and fettling done. Now for a bit of painting. More ammo pouches in khaki. Let's get it done. There we go. That's the ammo pouches painted. Now for a bit of scratch building. I lost one of these triangular panels that go under the driver's hatch. So with the aid of a bit of plastic card, let's get this tinker made.
done and fitted. Now to paint them black. That's then painted and popped to one side to dry. Now to crack on with the turret, so let's go. That's the first part of the turret done. So we'll leave that to dry and now move on to the top of the turret. This is one of those parts that does your Swede in. The destructions are very indistinct about where it goes, nothing lines up, and it starts to become a right royal pain in the arse. So I decided to leave it, put it to one side and move on to something else. That something else was filing the sprue glue down on the inside of the upper hill, hole. No, not upper hill, the upper hole. So let's crack on with that. While doing this filing, we realised that the front zimmeret had come loose, so we glued it back down. Sanding and gluing done. Now to go back to the turret roof and see if we can get that turret ring fitted. Not turret ring, whatever it is that holds the glass in.
found what the problem was. That pin I just removed didn't go anywhere. So I snipped it off, which allowed me to move forward. No pin, no issue. The way this tank is going to work is that I'll be able to remove certain parts of the tank. So the upper hull will come away, the turret top will come away, to allow viewing of the work I've done. So any extrusion marks on show need to be removed. So here goes this little lot on the reverse to the top of the turret. Oh yeah, this usually takes about three days as I do a bit, allow it to dry overnight, do a bit more, allow it to dry overnight, do a bit more, then file it back. Anyway, here goes with a sprue glue. Sprue glue done, and we'll leave that to dry overnight. Now, to sort out this bloody rear plate, the bane of this model. It's now fitted. Now all I've got to do is seat it correctly and glue it and this part of the model I can put to bed. So let's crack on and get this done. Okay, that's the rear plate seated and glued. This seems like a good place to end. So, thank you for watching episode 24. If you want to see what happens in episode 25, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.